Praise the Lord. Welcome to the Supernatural Life. Today I'm going to share about the goodness of a Satan. Okay, so many of the people are deceiving. Simply they are believing goodness. Okay, so many of the good people are deceiving by believing the goodness. Good people doesn't deceive by badness. Good people will deceive only by receiving the goodness. Okay, so Satan will not come by badness, but Satan will come by goodness to deceive good people. Okay, so let me come from the word of God. So coming to the book of Matthew chapter number 16, verse number 21. In the book of Matthew chapter number 16, verse number 21, the Lord is speaking about his sufferings. Lord is speaking about his sufferings to the disciples. So immediately at the verse 22, the Peter saying that Peter took him aside. Okay, Peter took the Lord Jesus aside and began to rebuke him. Never Lord, he said, this shall never happen to you. Okay, never Lord, he said, this shall never happen to you. And immediately Jesus turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are you you are a stumbling block to me. You do not have in mind the things of God but the things of men. This is what the things are happening in the word of God. Okay, so let me explain the goodness of a Satan. So here, when Jesus explaining about his sufferings. Then the Peter entered into that place and began to say that, let this suffering go far from us. Let this problem be, go far from us. Let these sufferings be far from us. It means even Peter is rebuking that kind of sufferings to be removed from the Lord Jesus. Many of the people are praying that uh, let our sufferings be removed. Many of the people, many of the men of God, even they are praying for sufferings of the people to be removed. It is the good. It is good for us to pray for sufferings to be removed. It is good for us to pray for our problems to be removed. It is the good. Yes, I think you people are understanding. As we are praying for the sufferings to be removed, as we are praying for our problems to be removed, it is the good thing for us to pray for that like that but even satan is using that goodness to deceive the lord jesus christ okay satan is trying to deceive the lord of course uh, lord doesn't deceive because he is simply filled with the holy spirit okay so satan wants to deceive the lord not by showing the badness but by showing the goodness goodness in the world there is a goodness in the world. Many of the people are helping to many people. Many of the people are helping food to many orphans. They do good. But that is not for goodness. That is not for, uh, uh, that is not a humble situation. That, that the people are doing simply because they need a publicity. They are doing good. Because they need a publicity, not because they are good, so they are doing good. No. In the same way Satan is in the same way Satan is doing like that. Okay? Satan is using the goodness to deceive the good people. Okay, if many good people doesn't deceive by seeing the badness, good people will deceive when they believe in goodness of Satan. Okay, even Satan is the angel, the Satan is the light angel. Okay, Satan will come in the form of a God, not only in the form of a, not only in the form of a, a unholy. Satan is a light angel, according to the word of God. The, 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 the word of God is saying that even Satan come in the form of God. Satan will come in the, in the form of a prophet. Satan will come in the form of an apostle. Okay, it means Satan is doing good, but it is not good. He is deceiving somebody by using the goodness. 
by using the goodness which is existed in the world because no good person will deceive by badness every good person will deceive by the goodness that's what the weakness of a good man i want everyone to believe good it's okay but before you are believing goodness you need to be discern the things of goodness you need to be discern the lord jesus is saying that test every spirit so that test every spirit it means test everything even the even the false prophet will come in the form of a true prophet many people cannot understand it is this is false or else this is true even the even the false prophet will come in the form of a true prophet doing good is acting is simply acting satan is acting as a good man even coming to the future the antichrist is going to come when antichrist is going to come he is doing so much of good things okay is going to do good things to the world that doesn't mean he is good man no he is a very 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 cruelty is a very cruel man but he is going to do good according to the book of the revelation when antichrist is going to come he is going to do good for a limited time after the time has expired then his his reality is going to exposed but before his reality is going to exposed he is going to do goodness to the people he is going to do good things to the people hence the people are going to believe that goodness that goodness is not coming from god that goodness is coming from the satan every goodness will not come from god okay there are two types of goodness that goodness from god and goodness from satan even satan can use goodness to deceive the good people okay if any good people wants to be deceived satan will come to the good people in the form of a goodness satan will not come to the good people uh, satan will not come to the good people by the bad way okay as we as we know about the uh, proverbs chapter number 3 there is a lady there is a lustful woman okay those women are coming to the good man and saying that uh, you are a good person you are a, you are a great person these people are just boasting themselves okay so many many people are trying to uh, deceive people by showing the goodness it is simply acting okay according to matthew chapter number 6 many of many uh, parasites and uh, uh, many many of the people like parasites they are just acting as a good people but in the sight of god they are not good people okay they simply acting as a good persons but exactly in the sight of god they are not good people And this is what i'm saying that even satan can use the goodness to deceive the people okay if somebody coming to you and saying that i love you that's not a goodness maybe is trying to trap you is trying to deceive you you have to discern before you believe you have to discern the things before you believe that kind of things okay without discernment people are going to be deceived easily because of the lack of understanding because of the lack of discernment people are going to be deceived because my brother my sister the satan will not come only in the form of badness no he will come he will enter into uh, situations in the form of goodness okay this is what the things are happening so let us come into the old testament that call according to genesis in the in the book of genesis satan wants to trap adam and eve by showing the goodness not by showing the evil okay what what is the what what the satan showed goodness satan is saying that to the eve about a good level satan is saying to eve a good things that if you eat this if you eat this fruit you are going to be a good if you eat this fruit 
you are going to be a good person you are going to be a god you are you are you are you, you people are manifested like a god it means that the satan is making them to believe the good what the satan is saying okay satan wants satan is making those people to believe in the goodness that the satan is showing to them okay satan is saying that if you eat these things you are going to be a good people you are like god okay that satan is desiring satan makes them to deserve these things in the form of goodness not in the form of badness okay these are the things satan will manifest in the goodness to deceive good people my brothers if you are a good man don't believe every goodness believe before you are going to believe the goodness you need to do you need to be discern you need to be understand and after discerning things you have to believe the goodness because every goodness will not come from god every goodness will not come from god even some of the goodness that are coming from satan okay so we have to be mature to believe in the goodness of god we have to be mature to believe in the goodness of satan these are the two goodnesses good from god good from satan my my people if if anybody came to you and saying that i love you i love you i love you that is not a true word okay love is a love sacrifice something love is not based on the word that you speak love is based on what you do what you sacrifice god loves the world and he sacrifices his son that's the love of god according to uh according to john 3:16 god loves the world and he sacrifices his beloved son is he is his son okay that's the manifestation of love if somebody comes to you and saying that i love you i want to marry you that simply deceive the person is deceiving you don't believe in that kind of goodness that goodness is not coming from the god almighty that goodness is coming from the satan himself okay you need to be mature my brother you need to be wise you need to be um, empowered by the spirit to uh, to to discern all of these things so i hope you people understand what is my conclusion is don't believe uh don't believe every goodness is coming from god you have to be discerned you need to be discerned before you go you are going to believe goodness okay i hope you people understand all of these things and i thank you god bless you subscribe to supernatural life share this video for the people because in the world many people are believing the goodness they are they are deceiving simply because they believing the goodness i'm not saying that don't believe goodness believe goodness but before you believe goodness you have to discern everything okay the the bible says discern everything discern it means understand everything so that you are so wise to be in the good okay i hope you people understand it so for this reason share the video for everyone so that they are blessed say so that they are wise in the in the in the in the word of god thank god for this sermon okay god bless you subscribe the supernatural life thanks for watching